Hey, North Star, welcome to another episode of Digging Deeper, where we help you lock eyes with Jesus and take a step towards Him. Today, we're going to wrap up our journey in the encounter between the Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch in Acts chapter 8, verses 36 through 38. God's Word says this, As they were traveling down the road, they came to some water. The eunuch said, Look, there's water. What would keep me from being baptized? So he ordered the chariot to stop. And both Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch went in down into the water, and he baptized him. So as we discussed earlier this week, the Holy Spirit's guidance and provision in this encounter is unmistakable. From Philip heading to the desert road, to running into the Ethiopian eunuch, who happens to just be explicitly reading a prophecy about Jesus Christ, and now this opportunity to be baptized. God is certainly in the details. And if we read this too quickly, we might miss it. As a reminder, Philip and Ethiopian eunuch are on the desert road. They are in a hot, arid, waterless climate. And it just happens that Philip, that when Philip announces the gospel of Jesus Christ, that there is a pool of water for both of them to enter by which the eunuch can be baptized into the family of God. God is certainly in control. God certainly had a plan for Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch. Certainly God wanted to draw him into his family. It's worth noting that the eunuch mentions in verse 36, look, there's water. What would keep me? What would, what would keep me from being baptized? Now, this Greek verb, keep me, which is koloi, uh, it, it really indicates that which barriers that have been removed. There is now no barrier or hindrance that stands in the way of the Ethiopian eunuch being baptized. Now, I don't want us to admit this. Let's not forget that the eunuch is returning from worship in Jerusalem, where he is unable to enter the temple because of his physical status. That there is a barrier preventing him from entering the temple to worship as others would because of this physical status. And, and further, that this eunuch was a God-fearing Gentile, that he, wasn't a, that he wasn't a Jew, that he wasn't technically seen as a part of God's people. So up to this point, do you see it? There's been several barriers that have stood between him and a full and flourishing life with God. Until today. Until this moment. John Pohill says it best. In this case, a double barrier of both physical and racial prejudice has fallen. A eunuch, a Gentile, a black man was baptized and received into full membership in the people of Jesus Christ. The eunuch was welcomed as a full member into the people of Jesus Christ because of his faith in Jesus Christ. That we are united to Christ by faith and we are united together by Christ. So two things for us today. If you've been baptized, remember your baptism. Remember that you have received full membership into the people of Jesus Christ and that you now are belong to Christ and belong to his people. And number two, that if you have not been baptized, your faith and allegiance to Christ needs to be declared. Our team at North Star would be honored to, to, to walk with you in this journey. So please reach out to us, leave a comment below or um, send an email. We would love to walk with you in this. Know that the barriers have, been, have gone away and that all are welcomed into the family of God. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you for your word. I pray that by the power of your spirit, this passage would change us into the likeness of Christ. Father, I thank you that the Ethiopian eunuch was given full membership. Um, Father, that all his life, there were barriers after barrier after barrier. But Lord, those were taken away. That nothing kept him from the family of God because of your son, Jesus. God, may we remember that today and may it challenge us. Let me pray this through the son and by the spirit. Amen. Amen.